things, right? TVs, loudspeakers, so people can still follow the game. And right now, they're bummed out that they missed that big return to start this half. McKenzie now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? On second and 11 now, Allen. here as he's taken down so after the sack Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long back to throw Allen steps away to his left and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today picked off by Brandon Faison and he will bring it back an interception return for a Colts TD. And Charles, for this offense, those interception woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out. And as confidently as they've been playing, I expect them to do exactly that. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. McKenzie now from his end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. It's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one reason is turnovers. The turnover on the last drive, they had the issue in the first half as well. He's got a man complete. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. And that might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. Here's Allen on first and 10. It's complete. He dials up Davis once more. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Pass caught. It's Davis on the crossing route. They run here with Singletary. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. From the two now, second and goal. Again, it'll be Singletary. And he takes it in across the chalk for a Bills touchdown. Devin Singletary taking it in from two yards out. And the Bills are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because 
What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team. That Their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Back to Taylor on first down. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. 128 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. On second down, it's Taylor. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So both offenses come to life here in this third quarter as this is shaping up for a good finish. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Now a give to Taylor. And down to the 36-yard line here. The Colts on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and three. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. First and 10, Taylor now. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. The extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. 